All right, guys, so I have a Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 liter Ecotec engine. It has a few codes, P0106, P1101, and P0171. Um, when all of those codes pop up, there's usually one major thing that it could be. A uh, real quick way to diagnose it, you can usually hear it. Uh, if we go under the hood here, you can already hear it blowing air out. It's right under this cover. There's a little PCV valve on this valve cover. And if it's leaking air, as it is right now, that's a telltale sign that you need a valve cover and that that PCV valve is bad and causing your rough idle and codes. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So the tools that you guys need for this are, uh, really only need two tools. One is the E10 external Torx bit and the other one is the T30 Torx bit. Uh, I'm going to use my little 3 is gun to get it done a little quicker. Uh, I also have a 5A spark plug socket because I'm also doing a tune-up on this. You guys most likely won't need that though unless you're doing a tune-up. So we always start with spraying down all your nuts, bolts, whatever you're taking off with WD-40. Kind of make sure it comes off nice and easy and nothing breaks off. Take the dipstick out, I already did that. Then we can start take off the plug for the coil pack this one did not have a clip on it'll have to get something there now you just get your t30 take off these two bolts pull them bad bolts out Pull the coil out. Get it stuck in there from the rubber boots. Have to get a screwdriver in there. Pry bar. Pry that boot up a little bit. There we go. So, there's your coil. So if you guys aren't doing spark plugs, you don't have to worry about the boots being stuck in there, but basically you just got to spray them down, get them loose, try not to rip them taking them out, or you'll have to replace those. Again, if you guys aren't doing a tune-up, you do not have to take those out. Alright, so you want to just move all these plastic harnesses out of the way so the valve cover will come out. This one just pulls up, comes out. Most of them just pull out of here. Alright, that's good enough for that. So now once you guys get through that, you can start taking these E10 bolts out. Once you get the valve cover out, there's 15 of them all around the valve cover. If you do get all of those out and the valve cover does not want to come out, just make sure that you got all of them. Just always double check. Alright, so that should be all of those. You should be able to get a screwdriver or a pry bar in there and just kind of pry up on it if you're replacing it. It doesn't matter if you break the plastic valve cover, but if you're only replacing the gasket for some reason, you should try to be a little more careful. Get in there and just pry, pry, pry. It'll eventually come loose. That rubber gate's gonna be stuck to the head. So 
so now you should be able to just basically pull it out. I'm going to have to put the phone down and get these wires completely out of my way here. Yeah, but as you can see, it's, it's loose in there. Just got to get it out. Alright guys, so here's your valve cover. There's that gas that I was telling you about that was stuck on the head. Uh, next step is very important to make sure that your new one does not leak. So I usually get a little razor blade. You've got to clean all the gasket off of this surface so that your new one does not leak from any old gasket. So I'll just get that and go around there and try to clean up any gasket that's stuck on there. Luckily there's not much on this one. Just a lot of dirt. sure not to drop it into the engine obviously just try to get all the gasket off that there would cause a leak if your gasket got stuck over that you do not want that spots here there and there you're gonna want to take some RTV or silicone maker and just put a dab across that there and there and kind of smush it down in there so that doesn't leak out of there uh, I usually put that on right before you put the new valve cover and gasket on so that basically wraps it up uh, you know, once you get the new valve cover, it comes with a gasket on it. You guys will be able to just bolt it right up and you know, basically do everything that I just showed you in reverse. Uh, start it up and make sure that your PCV isn't leaking on the new one and you should be good to go. Alright, that helps you guys out. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.